Hey everybody, I'm Jordan with PDQ.com. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about using PowerShell to get map drives. Uh, and we're going to do this within the PowerShell scanner, which is hopefully you've installed the latest version of our product and you're using it. It's fantastic. I love it. Everyone loves it. You should, if you like PowerShell, if you want to grab more data, you should be uh, checking this out. Uh, so the first step of get, grabbing network drives is the information for that is going to be stored in the registry. Uh, Full disclosure, I didn't write this script. I stole it from either Nate or Colby who work here. Uh, they're fantastic at their job. Uh, I don't feel bad about it. I don't feel bad at all. Uh, but first up, we're looking at local registry. Uh, we're grabbing it for only for who is logged in. There is a way to load registry for users that aren't logged in. It's not a great idea. It's possible. If it's something you want to get map drives for all users and you're not happy with this one, uh, Chris Powell has some blogs on this about how you can do that. Pay special attention to his warnings, uh, but if you need to, you could you could modify this a little bit and uh, get it for every user. It's just not 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 a great idea. Uh, so we're looking at the local uh, registry only, uh, looking at the H key users, and then uh, asterisk network asterisk. Just make sure we're grabbing it, and then for each one of those it finds, it's creating a variable called drives. For each one of those, it's going to split uh, the PS parent path uh, to get the SID. Uh, not super critical, it's just the extra information that we're grabbing in there. And then from there, we're just building a PS custom object. Uh, the reason we're doing that is so when we return results to our product, it's going to be in a format that you have more control over. It's going to look exactly the way you want. And then within the object, we're just doing things like we're defining username, drive letter, remote path, uh, S, uh, SID, and connect with username for whoever connected. And all of that is either within, within what we grabbed or a version of what we grabbed when we uh, split the parent path by the backslash. <clears throat> All right, other than that, we have uh, write verbose for, if they don't have any, none were found. Um, this, this script is out in our GitHub. If you import it and use that XML, it will, down in the parameters, put verbose for you. If you don't want to see that message, just remove that parameter. And if it comes back blank, it won't say anything, and you'll just know it's, it's there or not. Uh, just to give you an example of what it looks like within our product, we're going to open it up and go to Options and Scan Profiles. Uh, <clears throat> Map Drives is the one we, we took from the GitHub. I'm going to go ahead and edit that. And you can see there, down there, the parameters. Verbose, if you don't want that message, remove it. Other than that, as we said in the best practices, uh, hopefully you've watched that video, uh, we're using a file over the script. And the reason for that is it's just easier for source control. Uh, if you have multiple servers that you use in on this one. You only have to make one edit. It all stored in the same location. Uh, also, you can use an ISC, so it's easy to track. Nothing's bro broken there. As far as what's in there, you can see it's just the exact same thing that I had uh, showing you. It's actually, since I already had it open, it's just going to put it in there. It's just that script right there that is calling. And that's pretty much it. With this one, you can see what map drives your users have. If uh, they have something mapped they don't need, you can go ahead and uh, contact at that point and remove it. And you should be good to go. Off of PDQ.com, I'm Jordan.